Hi, welcome back guys to another episode of my career. In this episode, we are talking to some more people. We are doing some more training. We got Nikki Cross over here. Hi, how are ya? How's life? Sorry, I'm busy right now. In a woman's division, every match is important. Boy, you're standing here in the corner doing absolutely nothing. Don't try to pull that crap on me. You're not busy. You just don't want to talk. And I am sad right now. I am scared to see this look on my face. I'm just disgusted by you. I'm just gonna walk away now. Can we go? If we can we go in here? We can't go in here. That is so stupid. Okay. Hi. How are you? I have no idea who you are. Like seriously, who are you? Oh, it's Rezart. Okay, dude. We we got we got really similar na similar names. Mine is Azer, yours is Razor, okay? So, uh, l l let's just get this better. I'm the better one, okay? Stop, like your hustle. You got places to go. I see it in your eyes. Likewise, man. You have the same drive. I wonder will it be rivals or allies? Got me enough rivals at home, so I'm saying allies. I hope so, you big man. I'm a small man. I'm 5'11". 225. Looking forward to working with you and talking you down. I mean, taking you down. You seem paper thin, baby boy. Yeah, better be careful that you don't accidentally cut yourself on me. Well, no flimsy guns, not very likely. Darn, dude, my muscles bigger than yours. Look at this. I, w I look good for wearing 225. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, it's Nick Miller. I saw you pushing yourself yesterday. I like that you didn't take it easy, despite being new and being all cocky and stuff. And um, you should. I could take the easy road, but that leads nowhere at all. Take me where the terrain is rough and ragged. The place is what you make it, if rough is what you seek, look no further. And man, you are so far down, but you are Cassie as well now, so I am going to talk to you. Yo, what's up my boy Cassie? You be in crack first time with the big boys, good on you, sweet pie. What, wait, what was that? I'm I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't speak plebeian. Was that a cry to change your panties? Cause I don't see a mommy anywhere. <laughs> don't you talk about my mother? Darn man, we we got you there. Okay, let's go talk to Matt Matty Man. M Matt Man. We we got your boy Eric. You know Eric's pretty cool. Pretty fierce competition, even here. Especially with you. I think I'm starting to doubt myself. If you think it's hard now, you won't survive. Difficulty is going to get extreme the further you make it. I know, I know, I know. I keep thinking it's eventually it's a plateau. That's me fooling myself, huh? Yeah, you always fool yourself. But you look at your entrance. Smell sniffy. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, let's get into this. Ready to get started? I was ready yesterday. Good, keep up that attitude. Now, if you want to make it in the WWE, like, really make it, you're gonna have to learn a few new things. Moves and technique, right? Sort of. You'll see what I mean as soon as we're done working today. Wrestling in the WWE is unique. A little different from anywhere else. Hop in the ring, I'll show you. This man hop in the ring with me. <laughs> If you are wondering, like, if you're a random YouTube explorer and you watch my old My Career videos and this is Clyde's son and stuff, like, you've had a son and all that. Ooh, Tommaso Campa, dude. I don't know how you pronounce it. Right, wait. Wait, why well, I can't do anything? Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh. That was not a scoop slam. 
I did what I asked me to. Boy. Oh, hold him. Yeah, I did it. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Bring up. There we go. Is this good enough? You can try escaping the following way. Oh no, don't pick me up. I'm too big. And just spam the uh, the back button. And now you can elbow that boy in the face. Great, this ends the carry tutorial. I don't know. Is the submission tutorial next? I also explained all the backstory in the video yesterday, so it will be on the website soon, hopefully. I'm trying to get it up as soon as I'm done recording the next episode when I officially go to NXT. Maybe it'll be this episode. I don't know. Whenever I go to NXT, I will update the website. So meet, meet Matt Bloom. Yeah, good stuff. Get in the hang of it real quick. Feels pretty initiative. Go take a break and come back to me when you're ready for your next lesson. Oh, I'm ready for my next lesson. Alright, time to talk submissions. Submissions are a big part of WWE matches, so you gotta keep them always in the back of your head. Doing them and avoiding them. It's critical. Hop back in there. I'll teach you a few things you can take away with you. He's loading times are insane, man. There's so many loading screens. Gets a huge game, but can't you have just have a cutscene of some dude walking in or something? It's not like you're learning a total arena or something. Even arenas take quicker than this. What do you mean? Okay, let's just get this over with, man. I don't like the tutorial. Alright, let's in initiate us some ha channel. I got him. I did not grab that. <laughs> Hold X to initiate a submission. Rapidly test the play buttons. Okay. This seems exactly what hurt me last time. Is he not gonna fight back? He's not fighting back. Well, I'm just hurting you right now. Okay, I'm gonna just finish you off right now. There you go. I'm the beast that's in I don't like submissions. These are, uh, Scissor does not like submissions. He does not like, he just goes rapidly pinning his opponent. Pinning is how he wins. He does not win by submissions. It's just his way of style of fighting. He just does whatever he can to get the job done successfully, uh, uh, successfully complete it. Even if it means doing something visky or going high to the water. Oh god, so so what submission control do you perform? Use the right stick. Option one suits me better. Great, I'll keep that in mind for later. That's all for today. Come back tomorrow, we'll test you against one of our better NXT guys. See how see how you distribute it, your training. So now we gotta go back for more training. I believe we fight Baron Corbin in his squash match. <laughs> dude, imagine if I could win that stuff, dude. That'd be great. I need to be the first person to win it. What happens if you win it, though? That's beyond. Can you not win it or something? I don't know. I don't know. All right, day three. Let's go. Yep, squash match. You're in for a treat. We're lucky to have one of the top WWE supers. I hear Baron Corbin himself. Got that right. Training for a big match coming up at the pay-per-view. I thought it would be good to show you all one of our main event stories or success stories. They are the same exact thing. Now, let me just walk across my entire house for no reason. Okay. Yeah, let's go the other way because I do not want to go there. Okay. He doesn't look so tough enough about him. I need to train. <laughs> I think I could take him. He's pathetic. Funny use of chase, so... What is this like? 
you set him up. Now, a decent time as any to see how you stack up against the real deal. So, day curious to see how you can do. Get in here, show me what you got. Okay, I'm at it, man. I'm gonna show you what I got. Oh. Okay, let's go. Ten hours later. Uh, 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 ten hours later. Uh, 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 ten hours later. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's go. Whoa, look at that pre-match animation. Oh, this boy, this boy about to squash me. Oh, get screen blade, shaka. This man's cocky. Wait, he he takes like no damage. Oh my god, this is bull. I go go up there, please. I pin one. Oh no, he kick out. Ooh, ends a gurry. That boy going to the top rope. Oh no, he reverse. Oh god. Oh god, he's a reverse. He's a reverse. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Will I put Baron Corbin out? One! Two! No! Baron Corbin's still in this boy! Oh look at his leg! That thing's going crazy! Alright, I believe I could beat Baron Corbin! It can be done, folks! It can be done! A squash match though dude he's just putting up really freaking good against him boom American Rana dude Caesar's putting up a challenge the Behan Corbhan I don't think Corbin was expecting this oh maybe Corbin was maybe Corbin was expecting this type of a challenge oh my god he reversed again he reversed the end of days again Oh my god, and now he hits the side, the wind, the w rainy winds, I don't know. The rain, it's called the Clyde Plex, I forgot. Whoa, Fox Splash! Five star Fox Splash. Oh no, Baron Corbin, no selling, okay. Barry Corbin looks like yeah he, ha he has that look in his eyes. He's not gonna give up easily here tonight. Oh god, his neck he was just choking. Caesar holding Oh shoot. Caesar holding his stomach. The sling blade. Oh, oh god! Oh no! Wait, is this what I think it is? This is what I think it is. Oh my god, end of days from the top rope! End of days! End of mother freaking days! Will Caesar kick out? No, Caesar! Dude, Caesar! He put up a fight, though, dude! He put up a fight! That must have been a challenge for Corbin. Corbin must have not wanted to lose to a rookie. Oh, dude, I survived for a while. I did pretty good, Matt. How are you feeling? Humbled. Completely humbled. I don't belong on his level. Not yet, you don't. What should I try to teach you? The point is that you're a statistic jerk who likes yanking stereoid hopefuls around. Who doesn't? <laughs> Me, actually. Hey, it's not so bad. You last it longer than, uh, someone. Somewhere, probably. My lesson was, um, 
Wait, what was my lesson again? I did this for no reason. I just want to squash you. Oh, possibility! Up there, lights pouring down on you. The pounding of the heart, the trance of the audience. The ring contains every possibility. So I have to prepare for every outcome, win or lose anything in between. Sure, and know this. Nothing is impossible. Not that nothing is possible when you're not in there. That doesn't make sense. That nothing is possible when you're not in there. So when you're not in the ring, nothing's possible. Boy, speak English. You gotta fight to get in there. You gotta fight to stay. You gotta fight to fight. I understand. Look, I keep changing. Like, I can't expect to breeze through everyone. Keep progressing and comes a time where you can squash someone like Baron Corbin can. Look, all things considered, we think you're more than ready to jump to NXT. Seriously? Already? I call them when I see him, and I see you there laying down on some incredible smack. Show up backstage next week, and we'll tell you where to go from there. You bet. One more thing. Congratulations. Be rooting for you. You've been awarded bonus at VC. You can expand VC to buy unlockables. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, okay, on time. Why did I decide to start the series today beyond me? I say this was sort of a dragging on. It's like third episode, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I'm just learn I don't care. Now we gotta wait till another loading screen finishes. Uh, what to do? Called, called him statistic jerk. Call him statistic jerk. Hey right, guys, we are ready for NXT. But who is the producer? You guys already probably know, but Clyde has had lots of fights with this man. This man fought his father a lot, so he's obviously going to really care for Ban. My home blade. I didn't even say who it was. Oh, look, he, he shows. You made it. This is it. This is NXT. Feeling good. Feeling great. Awesome. Definitely different than being at the performance itself. So let me give you a one over. You're going to make your debut on NXT television. Not many guys get to enjoy this type of debut. That is to say, you set up a title match at the next NXT TakeOver. It's my strong advice. Think about all, how, how you will create impact. How do I go upon doing that? This is your time. You go off to the side with top of WWE Superstar you want to be. You can focus on promos. Call your j opponent out. Jelly, show you off your charisma yourself. Rile up the fans. You can take on high profile matches in order to prove your worthy. That you're the toughest bastard here. Outside of these options, you can ambush your opponent backstage and steal their advantage. Skeezy, but it works. Ultimately, your choice. And you don't have a des decide right now, but got any inc inclination? Honors finding all but cutting up against the grand apply of popularity is a bad way to shake things up. Slamming someone backstage, ambushing, fighting dirty. I'm not above this. Some people are. You don't gotta be. What works, works. I'm not saying I'll do it all the time, but as a choice, I'm interested. Be aware of that. With everything you do, there's something, someone thinking the same thing. Which is to say, watch your own back too. Good to have options and mix things up. That's it for me. I'm sure you're done hearing speeches and want to get to it. Check out with the producer at the production area. He'll be your helper from here on out. Thanks for the help so far. You bet. Give him hell. I think now that I'm at this, I have to change that tire. But if you guys do enjoy this episode, make sure to slam that like button down below. And I shall see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.